to another episode of Reviews by This Guy and also Reviews by That Guy, which is on my other channel. I decided to do a dual video here. And as you may have gathered from the intro, the thumbnail, and the title, this is about the Motile 14 inch performance laptop from Walmart. But before we get into this guy, I'd like to say, don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're interested in keeping informed of new videos being uploaded on the We Dean channel, don't forget to click the bell. Now let's get into this Motile. Now I've seen this laptop on ETA Prime's channel and also Austin. I almost forgot his name on his channel as well. And it seemed to get pretty good reviews. I mean, for the price, it was well worth it. I've been looking for something to replace my old grandma computer that has been giving me trouble editing and rendering videos it takes forever that's why videos are a little slow on this channel because it takes me forever to edit and render it and then upload it i've had a video take a almost a week to render one time and that computer overheats and i'm surprised it hasn't completely died yet but, as I said, Motile, this is from Walmart. It is a 14-inch laptop. It states it's a performance laptop. It is a HD 1080p screen, 256 gig storage, 8 gigs of RAM. Obviously, I'm going to try to upgrade those. But as you may have seen in Austin's video, if you've seen this on his channel, it's a little hard to upgrade the RAM and... The actual storage there, it does have two different solid state drive uh, ports there, or ports. Extensions, you can put two hard drives in there, but unfortunately you can't upgrade the RAM and have dual SSDs, which is kind of a letdown. It is a second gen AMD Ryzen 5 mobile processor with Radeon Vega 8 graphics. I'm kind of hoping this thing is going to render videos a lot faster. Now, obviously, this isn't some sort of powerhouse. This isn't my Alienware laptop that I want with an i9. Unfortunately, that computer is over $4,000. It's just not in the budget for me right now. So I'm kind of hoping this is going to do, do the job and just be a lot better than my old laptop. I don't think there's much else on the box. It's pretty plain. Let's take a look at the back here. See if I can get it in screen because this thing is rather large and it's taking up, as you can see, the whole screen here. It has Windows 10. As you said, it has the AMD Ryzen 5. It has Radeon Vega graphics. It is max boost 3.7 gigahertz, so it's up to that. Uh, it's DDR4 to be exact on the RAM. It has Bluetooth 4.2. It is Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, N, A, C. The battery is a 4100 milliamp lithium ion battery. I can't remember what's in my LG. I can't even remember what it's called. The LG G X. Uh, Jesus Christ, I can't even remember what this phone is called. But either way, I think this thing has almost a 4,000 milliamp battery. It is 720p HD on the front camera. As it's as I stated, it has a built-in Radeon Vega 8 graphics. I'm repeating myself because I'm reading the back of this box. It has one HDMI port, USB 2.0, USB 3.1. There's two of them. USB-C 1, Ethernet 1 micro SD slots and the 256 gig and we're gonna end up looking at this when we open the box so why am I reading this and in the box there is a limited warranty you have a quick start guide I mean this is pretty self-explanatory some people might need this so they do provide it here's the laptop we're not gonna look at that just yet this obviously is the power brick. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm entirely excited about this power brick. This is the side that goes into the wall. I don't think that I like that because... Look at it. I would rather it just be over here and then the plug. Either way, that's your power adapter. Obviously, nothing much in the box, as you can see. Let's get this out. 
I got the silver model. It does come in black and a rose gold. I was going to get rose gold, but only the top part of it was rose gold, and I didn't like that. So I went with the silver. It does have a very MacBook look. And there you go. There is the laptop. I think it looks pretty sleek. I do like this way they did the uh, Motile logo. I don't like the name. I don't know why Walmart went with Motile. I forget what they were called be before. I don't know, it was Power PC, something, I don't, honestly, I don't remember what Walmart called their computers before, but I will throw that up on the screen. I've never actually owned one, but honestly, this looks pretty sleek. It is metal on the bottom as well. Was manufactured in September 2009. Let's look at some of the ports here. It does have a cool vent here. It has a texture to it. It has a long rubber foot at the bottom here and in the top and bottom there as you can see on the side here you have your HDMI port your power adapter port you have your one USB 3.0 and your one C or should I say type C over here you have the two 2.0 USBs your Ethernet which does fold down it has a hinge and you have a headphone jack, and I guess that is the lock there. And this right here would be your micro US. This right here would be your micro SD card slot. How does that open? There must be some sort of fur in here. It looked like it was scratched. I was about to be extremely pissed off. Let's get this laptop open and see. Yeah, as you can see, they have something in here to protect the screen it looked like this edge here was completely scratched i was going to be extremely upset me and scratches on my devices it makes me really angry and as you can see it has thx and it says it there again and this honestly this laptop looks really sleek it only cost me 300 bucks apparently at first this was a 600 dollars laptop and then the price went down and Walmart was giving them away for $300. Someone else, I don't know if it was Austin or it was ETA Prime, got it for under $300. It's like two something. Keyboard's not too bad on this guy. Personally, I like my mechanical keyboards. I'm not into this ch chiclet keyboards or however they want to call them. But it's not it's not bad. Really big touchpad here. That's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm going to have to go through the whole setup and power this guy on. This isn't going to be a completely full review on this. On this reviews by this guy, we're going to be doing some game testing on it, obviously. And on reviews by that guy on my other channel, which will be linked in the description down below. I want to do some video editing testing, which is why I bought this in the first place is for that. It wasn't really for gaming. I don't do much PC gaming, unfortunately, because I don't really have a powerful PC for that. This might allow me to do some of that. I don't think it's going to be too powerful, but I have seen ETA Prime do a video on a external graphics card. So I might do that at some point so I can do some decent gaming on here. I still want my Alienware. Who knows if I'll ever have that on the channel. Pray for me, please. Fingers crossed. Maybe I get an i9 Alienware laptop at some point. But for now, this is what we got. No more babbling. Let's get into testing games on here. And also, you're not going to see that on the WeDeem channel. If you're looking at this video on the WeDeem channel, you're going to see game testing. You're not going to see the actual video editing testing. You're going to want to head over to the other channel. And that's what will happen after this point on that channel all right well here goes both of them on the left we have the we deems new workhorse and on the right there that is the old workhorse a piece of garbage something that has given me much grief and taking forever i'm not going to go into great detail over this guy but there will be a link in the description and a link above of a video i did a while back reviewing this if you're interested to see specs and see exactly what problems this thing has given me 
this is not going to be a full review on this. I mean, kind of. But for now, we're just going to take a look at comparing both the Motile from Walmart and the Lenovo ThinkPad 355, which has been editing my videos the whole time I've had this channel so far. And, oh my God, has it been unbearable. That's why I bought this. I was just looking for something that was going to be more powerful than this and edit and render video a whole lot faster. Now, this isn't the Alienware i9 laptop that I would love to have, but that thing is over $4,000, and that's definitely not in the budget. And for what you get for the price that I paid for this, honestly, it's not bad. No more babbling. Let's get in to comparing these guys. We're on the old Lenovo here, and as you can see in Premiere, it's extremely slow when you hit the play button, which makes it very difficult to edit. I've even had to or have to convert the videos to 640 by 360 to make it just barely play. This is what's made my life difficult when editing my YouTube videos. All right, we're going to get ready to export this video, but let's take a look at how slow it plays once again. This is Mini, and one of those controllers was the All right, let's head up do. in here and edit. Let's head up and export this video. I have a custom settings here. It's 1920 by 1080. It's 60 frames, and uh, I got to keep keep the bit rate pretty low. I normally up it if the uh, size is small. Now let's go ahead and render this and see how long it's going to take. All right, right off the bat here, you'll see that it's showing no estimated time whatsoever. It barely even starts. I started this at 12.10. It's now 12.18. And we finally got 1%. 21 more minutes have gone by and we finally got 2% and now we're up to 13 hours. This laptop is completely horrible and it's been nothing but a chore to edit videos. And this is exactly why it takes me forever to get videos uploaded on the WeDeem channel. Either way, you know what, replacing the hard drive in this probably would have made this a little faster, but I doubt by much. And uh, I will throw the uh, specs up on the screen and have them in the description down below of this laptop. At some point, this is going to be a DIY project, and I'm going to do something with this laptop. But for now, let's hope to God this multile, horrible name once again, Walmart laptop is way better, and it speeds up the process of rendering video in Premiere. Fingers crossed. We test... And before we get in to the topic of today, I'd like to say don't forget to let me spend my money so you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button. All right, here we are about to render the video with the Motile laptop. Uh, same settings, six minute clip. Let's go ahead and see how long this takes. All right, it took a little while to get started, but as soon as it started, it was off to the races. Quit took about 20 to 25 minutes to completely render. Not extremely fast for a six minute clip, but way better than 13 hours. So it's doing pretty well in my opinion. Okay, final thoughts on performance as far as rendering video, editing video in Premiere is now. But don't forget, if you're looking for the gaming comparison of these two laptops, don't forget to head over to the We Deem channel. There will be a link in the description down below. And if I can, there will be a card at the top of the screen. You're on my personal channel right now. And this is the performance as far as editing and rendering video is concerned. And obviously this laptop, the Motile from Walmart is far better than this Lenovo over here. As you've seen in the video, this Lenovo is so slow that I have to convert videos twice, the 1920 by 1080, just so the audio is in sync, which I still have to do on this laptop, but I have to take an extra step on this think pad and shrink it down to 640 by 360 because 
Premiere will not play it. It's choppy. It's even slightly choppy at the 640. So that's kind of annoying and it takes forever to edit and I have to keep going back because it will stop playing. It'll chop up and I can't hear where the sound is and where to cut it. So believe me, this has been a pain in the butt. And even when I do get the video edited, it takes forever to render. My God of War video, which nobody really took a look at, which was an hour long video, took a week to render on this laptop. It was annoying. Now, as far as the Molta is concerned, things are a whole lot faster. As you've seen in the video, it didn't take much to edit it. At the 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio, Premiere played it fine. It wasn't choppy. The sound didn't stop. The video didn't pause or freeze. It was able to play it fluidly. And after a rendering, it did not take long at all. I don't specifically remember how long it took, but it wasn't that long at all. I will throw it up on the screen, but you did see it during the video. It was a whole lot faster. Even converting videos in Handbrake was way faster than this. So at $300, this was way worth it. If you're looking for an affordable laptop, just to speed up your rendering times if you're having the same issue I was having with this ThinkPad 355 Lenovo or a computer with the same type of specs and performance. This is definitely worth it. I got it for 300 bucks. I think it has gone up a little since then. I think I've seen it for 370 something. I'm not entirely sure, but even at 370 something, it's definitely worth it. But at 300 bucks, it was well worth my purchasing it. And honestly, videos are definitely going to be rendered faster. If I did not show something in the video performance wise, video editing wise, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely have an update. Now, I want to see how long this laptop will last over time. Who knows? Even though this is made of metal, the internals might for some odd reason, be poorly put together. I'm never going to open this. I know Austin on his channel definitely did. So if you want to see it open, you can go ahead and check it out. I do want to at some point upgrade the RAM and the hard drive. And as Austin showed, for some odd reason, where the actual SSD is and the RAM is, it doesn't allow for another RAM chip to be put in there, but there is another SSD slot on the side where you can put an SSD there and then upgrade the RAM. But for some reason, I don't know why they did it that way, but you can't have two SSDs, which is annoying. But there will be an update in the future over time as to how this computer is performing, maybe a month, maybe two months, I'm not entirely sure. As for this ThinkPad, I am definitely going to have this as a DIY project. I'm going to be doing some upgrades to it. I'm going to be changing it, the operating system on it. I think it's going to be a cool DIY project. If you're interested to see what I'm going to do with this, maybe you have a laptop like this, you'd like to see your options. Don't forget to head over to the WeDeem channel and this will be a We DIY episode. If you have any questions about this laptop or even the Lenovo, please leave those in the comments down below. If you bought this laptop, let me know what you think and how long you've had it and what is your opinion on it in the comments down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you thought this video just plain sucked, you can go ahead and hit that thumbs down. If you found this video to be of some sort of value, do consider sharing amongst friends and the rest of your social media. And as always, don't forget to let me spend my money on things like this so you don't waste yours by hitting that subscribe button. Practice recipe, passion, and liquor with God and the passion to pray at a crash. I'm in my basket, blissful but ignorant. I'm dapper but ratchet. I play around in the trap. I take the risk. Look at me, stack up the chips. I play roulette with the man. Right till I die. I'm not afraid of the cash. I'm on the run. I'm chasing the thrills. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I lust for the meal. Lately, I'm blue like the bills. Yeah. I'm elevated, overeducated. I run the race for who I resonate with. I break the bread with you to work the lay shift. Break the ground, shake up the simulation. Reshape the sound, need a renovation.